Good day, beautiful people. This is Natalie Silva with Life Treasures and Golden Moments, sharing with you two stories of miracles and inspiration. How are all my beautiful people out there? I hope you're enjoying the month and everything's going well for you all. It's always good to be with you and sharing stories that I hope inspire and make you feel better after listening. Today's story has been around for a while, and I think you might have seen it on the internet, some of you, and if you have not, I think you'll enjoy it today. It was sent in by a listener that uh, they wanted me to share with you all, and uh, so grab a hot cup of coffee or warm cup of tea and get all curled up and cuddly and sit down and relax as I share this story with you today called The Crabby Old Lady, and the author is unknown. It reminds me of a time in my past lives (laughs) when um, I was um, working with elderly and loved them dearly. It was one of my favorite things to do. And sometimes when we look at older people, we look at them differently. But let's open our hearts and think about where we're going to be someday if we're younger. And even if we're older, you'll enjoy the story. The Crabby Old Lady. When an old woman died in the geriatric ward of a nursing home in Canada... It was believed that she had nothing left of any value. Later, when the nurses were going through her meager possessions, they found this poem. Its quality and content so impressed the staff that copies were made and distributed to every nurse in the hospital. One nurse took her copy to Alberta. The old woman's sole bequest to prosperity has since appeared in a Christmas edition of the news magazine of the St. Louis Association for Mental Health. A slide presentation has also been made based on this simple but eloquent poem. This little old woman with nothing left to give to the world is now the author of this anonymous poem winging across the internet crabby old lady. What do you see, nurses? What do you see? What are you thinking when you're looking at me? A crabby old lady, not very wise, uncertain of habit with faraway eyes, who dribbles her food and makes no reply when you say in a loud voice, I do wish you try. Who seems not to notice the things that you do? And fair ever is losing a sock or a shoe. Who is resisting or not? Let you do as you will, with bathing and feeding, a lawn day to fill. Is that what you're thinking? Is that what you see? Then open your eyes, nurse. You're not looking at me. I'll tell you who I am, as I sit here so still, as I do at your bidding, as I eat at your will. I'm a small girl of ten, with a father and mother, brothers and sisters, who love one another. A girl of sixteen, with wings on her feet, dreaming that soon now a lover she'll meet. A bride soon at twenty, my heart gives a leap, remembering the vows that I promised to keep. At twenty-five now, I have yen of my own who need me to guide a secure, happy home. A woman of thirty, my young now grown, they've gone fast, bound to each other, with ties they should last. At forty, my young sons have grown and are gone, but my man is beside me to see I don't mourn. At fifty once more, babies play round my knee. Again we know children, my husband and me. Dark days are upon me, my husband now dead. I look at the future and shudder with dread. For my young are all rearing, young of their own. And I think of the years and the love I have known. I'm now an old woman, and nature is cruel. Tis just to make old age look like a fool. The body it crumbles, grace and vigor depart. There is now a stone where I once had a heart. But inside this old carcass, a young girl still dwells. And now and again, my battered heart swells. I remember the joys, I remember the pain. And I'm loving and I'm living life all over again. I think of the years, all too few, gone too fast. And accept the stark fact that nothing can last. 
So open your eyes, people. Open your s- and see. Not a crabby old woman. Look closer. See me. Remember this poem when you next meet an older person who you might brush aside without looking at the young soul within. We will all one day be there too. Please share this poem. The best and most beautiful things of this world can't be t- seen or touched. They must be filled with a heart. The nicest place to be in someone's thoughts. Safest place to be in someone's prayers. Best place to be is in God's hands. God bless you all, and may your day be filled with love and peace. This is Natalie Silva with Life Treasures and Golden Moments. Take care, my dear friends. Have a beautiful week, and God bless. Until next time.